Hello! Today we are going to learn how to multiply two numbers that have two digits. And when I say two digits, I mean they have a digit in the tens place and the ones place. Now it's a lot different than addition and subtraction, where you could line up the digits in the ones place, line up the digits in the tens place, and then add or subtract going straight up and down. Okay. Now when we're multiplying, we have to multiply in a, in, in a pattern that I call the broken windshield wiper. We multiply going this direction and only that direction. Then our windshield wiper stops. So step one is multiply by the number in the ones place. And in this case, it's eight. Okay. And I'll show you what that arrow means when I do that. Eight times seven is 56. Okay, so I'm going to put my 6 down here and underneath the 1's place. And my 5 is going to go up over here over the number in the 10's place because 56 is 5 10's and 6 1's. Now, since my arrow is going this way, I multiply 8 by the number in my 10's place. 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16, and then I add this number up here. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. So I put my 1 down there. And since I don't have any hundreds digits in this problem, I bring the 2 right down here. Because there's no other numbers in the hundreds place to put it up over. Okay. Now, since I am done I, with my 1's place, I've multiplied both of these digits by the numbers in my ones place, I'm going to cross out this number five up here because I don't need it anymore. I don't want it to get into the way, but I don't want to erase it because if I make a mistake, I want to go back and know that there was a five there if I have to check my, my, my work. Okay, step two is put a zero below the ones place to hold its place. So I'm going to bring my purple zero right down here. That's what it means by putting it under my one's place to hold its place. And the reason why I'm doing that is because step three says multiply by the number in the tens place. So since I'm multiplying by the number in the tens place, I'm multiplying by groups of ten actually. So I don't need anything in my ones because I'm multiplying by tens. So this zero just holds its, holds its place. So just like before, I'm using my broken windshield wiper to go from right to left. 1 times 7 is 7. Okay. Now 1 times 2 is 2. And at this point, I've multi I'm finished with um, step three because I've multiplied both of these numbers by the number in my tens place. And that brings me to step four. Add them up. So I'm going to put my addition sign right here. And I'm going to put my equal sign underneath. So I can add them up to get the answer. Six plus zero is six. 1 plus 7 is 8. 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay. So 27 times 18 is 486. So remember, when I have two double digit problems right here, num with numbers that have digits in the ones and tens place, I multiply by the number in the ones place. Make sure I multiply both of these numbers. Put a zero in to hold its place. Multiply by the number in the tens place. Then I add them up. Okay. Now, I hope this helped. If you have any more um, problems with um, big multiplication problems such as these, check out some of my other videos. I show how to multiply three digit by two digit and even three digit by three digit. Hope this helped and uh, thanks for watching.